like. Let's see, can you guys see me if I sit up here? Kind of, kind of not. Let's see if I can adjust this. What's up? I'm adjusting the camera here. Bear with me. What's up, everybody? So it's not going to be a crazy long live stream today, but I think I found a few crappy under a bridge here. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm out here. I'm just kind of dinking around, just, just uh, trying some new spots. I thought, well, we'll go live for a bit. See if we catch anything on the live and uh, yeah, have a good time. You know what I'm saying? But we kind of focus on jigging. I've got the phone a little bit away from me. Like, what's up, everybody? Jason, Richard, Alex. What's up, everybody? Like I said, guys, we're just, I, I think I've located on the depth finder some crappy right under this bridge right here. So I thought, you know what? We're just going to do a little live stream. It's not going to be long. It's not going to be like a three, four hour one because. I've got like a 20 minute boat ride back to the uh, to the dock and it's kind of foggy out as you can see behind me. And uh, so I can't be out in the dark running in the fog and trying to figure out, I have to go through a bunch of islands and stuff. Oh, Heidi donated 20 bucks. Heidi, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, the stash of high adventure. Anyway, we've got this little crappy jig, crappy man, crappy jig. We're gonna drop this guy right down here. And uh, according to my graph, uh, they're stacked up right down here by these pilings. We'll find out if they're eating or not. We'll give it a go. Figure you guys would come along with me. If you wanna. Just right by here. See what we can do. I'm gonna be kind of focused on this because, uh, yeah, dudes, there's something down there for sure. Like, if they're down there, it's just going to be a matter of if they're biting or not. Oh, yeah, they're definitely down there. 100% down there. Let's see if we can get them to jump on a hook. Heidi, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Hope everybody's having a rocking weekend. Our weekend's going to get rocking if I can poke, poke a big old pancake here. And it's actually pretty cool. We've had a cold front that just moved in last night. I think it's only like 64 degrees or something, 63, 64, or something like that. So not very warm at all. Went from like 82 two days ago to now pretty chilly. I'm gonna just circle these pilings, y'all. I'm gonna circle these pilings here. See if we can get a few of them to come out and play. I'd have to raise my uh... air temp is 80. Oh, what's up, 803? I haven't seen you in a while, man. Hope all is well. Air temp is 53, I believe it. It's pretty chilly out. Pretty chilly compared to what, what it has been. Yeah, y'all, we definitely, we definitely have fish down here. Let's see if we can get, we see if we can poke them here. Go for a nice subtle presentation. Just moving around these pilings. William, I'm doing good, man. Hope you're doing well as well. That works. We need to harness the power of the stash here, y'all. Power of the stash. There's a little mist coming down. I think it's it's partially from the fog. Partially from the rain. Had a little rain this morning on overnight. So, like I said, mini cold front moved through. Let's see if we can't uh, wake up a few fish anyway. 
beautiful day out on the water. It's just a little chilly. Oh, there's a bite. Dude, we just got we just got a bite. We just got a bite. We just got popped. That's a pretty good hit too. Now, that was a pretty good attack. I wonder if that might might have been a brand. I mean, that was a that was a decent, decent poke. We're using six pound test line. Six pound test. Line. Oh, I got another donation. I'm gonna read it once I get to the end of this. These pillars here. I think it's from Far Now Project. I, I recognize that. Uh, I recognize that uh, that thumbnail, if you will. That's a good sign we got hit. Thanks, Robert. Glad you're enjoying the videos. I'm enjoying making them, so it's a win-win, I can't. Well, we, got, we definitely got popped on our first go-round. Let's see, let me read this here. We got another donation from, that is definitely the Barnell Project. Let's scroll back up and find it. It says, Bridge Pandas only, <laughs> let's go, okay. Got it. Hey, just for you. Let's roll back through there. Definitely want to roll back through there. Look, poke a slab out here. Like I, I don't know, but I'm marking some. I feel like some pretty good markers down there, like size wise. Look, pretty decent. So, if we can get one to hook up, we'll find out. But, it looks pretty thick on the screen. Looks promising, if you will. A little breeze pushing through here now. A little breeze moving in. Did you not? There's literally been like no breeze all day. I start the live stream and it kicks up. I, I, I swear. Here's the setup for those joining late. We're moving around these bridge pilings. We just got a little like one, was that one thirty second out jig head? A little crappy man, crappy Slayer jig. Got six pound test line on a crappy Slayer ducket, five and a half foot wad. Marking, marking a lot of fish around these pilings, to be honest with you. Got one bite already. Hopefully we can, uh, we can produce something here. Talk is cheap. Oh, another donation from, hold up, Ron, I'm about to run into the bridge here.
Ron donates five dollars. Says the conversation you posted to Instagram was hilarious. Hopefully you catch some piggy stick. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Oh, I've got to I've got to publish the conclusion to that. There was a conclusion. I gave more than I got. We'll we'll put it that way. Very disappointed. I'm snagged on the bridge down here. Come on. Breeze is just pushing us now. Well, there's a little bit, a little tap right there, definitely. That felt more like a crappy bite. Just a little, doom. like a curious crappy. Oh, I got another donation. I'll read that here in just a second. Sorry, I just got bit. Try those other pilings over there. See if there are any fish over there. If I don't, we've got something down there. They're definitely, they're definitely curious. Let's just hit the surface right over here. I got another donation. From Juan, Juan Yi. Juan's back in the house. Juan is a fan favorite of the channel. Juan, thank you for the donation. Oh, you kind of had to be here for the Juan stuff. It was kind of a one-off, if you will. But maybe not. But he's back for more. That's the only one I'm doing as well. I think Ace did fishing at the dam at Lake Cascade. Look over here, guys. I want to see if there are any crappy hanging out around these ones over here. These pilings. There are definitely some down there. We've got a couple of hits. I'll go back to that. I wanted to see if maybe, you know, maybe there's a few more active ones over here. Let's see. Oh, Austin donates $2. Austin, thank you so much. Number one, that's right. Number one, hot finger fire pitcher one. So interestingly enough, guys, I'm actually marking a lot of these markings close to the bottom. You know, a lot of times when you're crappy fishing, right, you're like suspended fish, right? But a lot of these, what I'm looking at, what look like big old slabs on the screen. Um, I mean, it looked like within two or three feet from the bottom. Wan Yi donates another $20. Wan Yi, man, throw in an emoji or, or, I mean, feel free to comment in there, man. Thank you for the donation. So want to give you, I mean, super generous. Something else is jumping out. That's gotta be striper. They gotta be striper moving through the area. One eat up, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, dude, we're marking fish under this one too. They're definitely down there. Oh, I thought I could just not bump right there. There's definitely more crappy down here for sure. Come on, somebody's gotta be active. Just gonna go nice and slow. Darren Ramsey says, hope you catch them all. Donates $10. Darren, thank you so much, bro. We need to harness the power of pistachio. We're just getting little hits right now. The fish are down there for sure. There's no doubt about that. You just gotta get them to come out and play here. When I crappy fish, I don't know if everybody else is this way, but I get like super focused. I just, I'm like, when you're catfishing or striper fishing, or, you know, you're like dragging, you know, maybe if we like long line, maybe we need to do that, try. Um, in fact, heads up for everybody watching right now, um, I might be live streaming again on Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, evening. It might be like a night live stream on Tuesday. I'm also going to be targeting crappy that one day as well um, in a different lake though. So clear your schedules for Tuesday. No, but if just a heads up, unless the weather gets bad or I get sick, my little one is sick right now, Mr. Crockett. Uh, something's going around. He caught it. 
So as long as I don't get it, we'll be live streaming again Tuesday night. And weather permitting, pretty much with live streaming, it's always weather permitting. But uh, we'll definitely be getting after. Uh, what's up, Tash? Um, hoping, hoping to be able to get, hoping to be getting after some more Becky on Tuesday's live stream as well. Man, they're in this stream. I'm gonna stop talking about it. You guys know they're in there by now. I'm just like. You gotta be a man of action, man. Come on, baby. What's up from Idaho? What's up, Michael? Michael! That's really interesting. On that pass on this side, I was marking fish in about five to six feet of water. They weren't on the bottom. And like this is this crazy. Like they're just kind of I'm, I'm finding them in like different little areas here, it seems like. Like one side of the bridge is like they're on one depth, one side of the bridge are on another. Austin donates two dollars. Says, "What's your biggest catfish? Thirty-one pounds. Caught fairly recently. Check that video out. The hot tent camping. That came out what? About three weeks ago? Four weeks ago? Something." What's up, Betty? Betty, hope you're doing well. Love the hoodie, dude. We need to catch one now. I mean, I'm harvesting the hoodie vibes, the stash vibes. There are no excuses. There are just plain no excuses. I don't get anything on this pass. I'm going to go back over to that one. We've gotten a couple hits. Again, this isn't going to be a terribly long live stream like my normal live streams. I just, I started marking fish and I thought, you know what? Let's start it up because if I don't, actually I shouldn't have started it up because I would have caught a ton is what would have ended up. Afternoon. You guys know that's how it goes. I'm not a fan of freeze right now. Oh, there's one right there. Right there. 
Got it. What the heck? Oh yeah, there's a nice crab. Dude, that thing just annihilated. That's not even that big. He just smoked that. I knew there were some down there. There you go. First fish. Dude, that, like he popped that. He came up and just smoked it. There's one. All right, we got the skunk out of the boat. I mean, that's not big. That's probably about seven inches, seven and a half inches. Maybe it's probably, well, okay, let me measure it. I've got a measuring board right here. Okay, I, I under, he's a nine inch crappie. That's a nine inch crappie right there. We'll cause him back. But he dumped it. Like, he's dumping, he's dumping. All right, let's make, since we caught one, let's, uh, let's, Let's make another pass there. I don't want to just leave that. Like, let's caught one. We caught one. Let's go. There we go. There, I, t I told you guys they were down there. But I'm, I swear to you, I'm getting bigger markers than that. Like, I'm definitely getting bigger markers than that. Let's see if we can't pull a piggy out. Dude, he like that. He, that, I was an, that was an aggressive bite. Probably the most. That, that's probably been the hardest hitting crappie I've caught in a while. Like he just went like, boom. Oh, there's a little hit. Just got another little hit right there. some little pancake size down there. Oh, did I miss a donation? There you go. Good day from Australia, from Team Tibet, or Tibet. One, you know, it's makes another $10. Well, that one's for you right there, bro. Look at that. Hit that right there. Little crappy man, crappy jig, just smoked it. There's a little bit bigger. We're getting a little bit bigger now. A little bit bigger now. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you the size right here. That is. That's an 11 inch or 11 inches exactly. 11 inches exactly. That's a pretty crappy. That's a pretty one. There's a little bit of a tummy on her, I think. Yeah, there's a little bit of stomach there. A little bit of stomach there. So right now, so I'm getting ready to go out and film tomorrow. Um, so I'm not going to go ahead and keep any of these today, but uh, we might have to come back and uh, catch a few of these for the grease. So we're going to drop it back in. Awesome. Awesome catch. Drop it right back down. Right back in. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice one. That wasn't bad at all. Thanks, Nassif. Appreciate it. Nice boat. The tiller handles have to stick together, man. <laughs> I'm 
starting to see my breath a little bit here. You guys like mustache mike <laughs> Alright, roll this side again. Got a few coming out and playing now. Step. I mean, I wish I could show you guys the screen. It's not coming here down here. I'll bet between each of these pilots, they're right. Probably 100, 200 traffic down there, I guess. I mean, so it stands to reason. They gotta be, oh, there's a bike. Oh, I missed it. See, I'm sitting here talking, running my mouth, like we like to do. There's some big marks down there. Like, there's some big marks down there. Come on. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of troll. I'm just trolling along the sides of them. And that seems to be, that seems to be getting some strike. All right, we're going to roll up this side again, and then I'm going to give this a rest. We're going to go back to that one over there. Man, this is awesome. We caught a couple, but there's some piggies in here. We're gonna get, we're gonna get a couple more. I'm glad I decided to do a little live here. This is fun. This is fun. Maybe you know if we, well, I already think we gotta come back. I've seen some birds swirling in the area, so maybe we need to do a day of a day of live stream and do some striper fishing. Maybe come out in the morning or like striper fish in the afternoon. Do some crappy fishing in the evening, something like that. Alright, time to focus up here. Not even really twitching it too much. Even in a couple little pops, maybe every seven, eight seconds. I'll roll down this side. No hits on that one right there. Wow. Got two and a half feet below full pool. It's been nice, man. They brought it back up. I just now if we could get a little break in the rain, um, we'd be in business. I feel like this I feel like this lake, I feel like Lake Murray in March is just gonna be fire. I feel like March, if we can get decent weather, if we can get a decent crop of weather in here. Like, I think it's going to be, I think Lake Murray is going to smoke it. I think crappy fish is going to be good, catfish is going to be good, striper fish is going to be good. Like, if we get that weather, and it has been, that weather's been cooperating recently. We've been getting 70s, 80s, 
I'm like, I think it's gonna, when it hits, and I, it's getting better now. The fact that I'm getting crappy right now is pretty solid. Um, I've seen like some of the Facebook groups and stuff like that. Guys are starting to get in on a decent, decent crop of striper as well. So, um, uh, you know, if they keep up like this, like March and April here should just be, should be lights out. All right, here we go. Back in the thick of them. Let's give these a break. We're gonna come over these ones now. Old we'll buy didn't get any hits that time, so I'm gonna adjust this. You guys are perched kind of precariously on top of a cooler. So I'll we'll just keep my fat face away from the screen. Let's give these a rest. Now let's come back over here and touch it to me. Jason Godfrey donates five dollars. Says I'm ready for some top water bass fishing up in the Saluda River. There's a nice flat. I'd be happy. Wait. There's a nice flat. I'd be happy to share. Oh, Jason, dude, share away. Share away. In fact, uh, I talked to a guy uh, today. Actually, said he got spooled on the lower Saluda uh, the other day, like like four or five days ago. I think is what he told me. Uh, and it's striper, striper, but yeah, man. Be rocking. Biggest bass is seven pounds. Mine's pretty pitiful. Mine's like four four eight or something like that, or four eight four or something. Like I don't even think I've caught a five pound large mouth. Thanks, Summer. Appreciate it. Congratulations on the wedding. Yes, there's some markers down there. Come on, big markers. Where's my, where's my big fish? I know you're down there. Was trying to switch up some of the colors here too. Maybe go with like a white. Not 
turn this boat around. Or go around the other way. Swing the boat around really quickly. Sweet video stream, I can thank Marco. We're just crushing it on a fall foggy day. Okay, we're not crushing, but we've got a couple. Plenty of marks, so we'll see if we can keep getting after them here. Everybody else like fishing docks and stuff like that. Talk to a guy who was, uh, uh, go with the shad color. Yeah, I might change. I'm going to switch it up here in just a second. We're going to pass this a couple times. So we have caught some fish with this on this color. And then, um, we're going to rock and roll something different. Boom, yeah. What's up from Ontario? Nice. I will go around the other side of this and then I'm going to switch up the color so you can see that. So if you see anything different, it's like a white, I think. Why don't we put a black black in it? Oh, I missed a donation, my bad. Uh, uh, Jason Godfrey says, your email on Facebook still good? Um, yeah, it should be uh, highadventurevideos at gmail.com. And that's the good one. Yes. Thank you for the donation too, man. I appreciate it. Dude, nice. That sounds like fun. Big old boating. Big old dogfish on the ice. Sounds pretty sweet.
Alright, let's try a different color. Grab a different color, give me one normal no, momento. We're gonna go with kind of a subtle, a subtle white, if you will. Show you guys this. The water is, is pretty clear actually over here on this in this uh, section that I'm fishing. There you go. Try that. Got a little black fleck in it. Garners a bite. Sometimes that, like that really subtle color, sometimes that could be just a little bit better than, than getting real flashy with it. I've got a, I've got a, a whiter one, like a more solid white one that we can give a go as well. We'll see if any, there are any takers on this first, though. Jig him a little bit. We're definitely right down there in the bank, so. Papers on the first pass. Oh, man, what a gorgeous afternoon out here, man. Could be a little warmer, but you know what? Then the fishing probably wouldn't be any good. So. No takers on that. 
We'll go. To, we'll go. Let's go around these pillars a couple times here with this color, and then we'll switch it out. We don't get anything. I'm almost wondering okay. if maybe the more solid color is the better option. Maybe we just have to go back to what we were using. That's interesting. On that path, I didn't mark as many fish. Try the other side here. See any out here? To be the gritty, might bring one. I think it's the power of the stash now, bro. Just got bit. Just got bit right there. Oh. 
There he is, right there. That's a good crappy. That's a good crappy. He's a good one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, slab, 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 slab. Come here, Nick. Yes! Yes, come on! I told you. Oh, I missed a donation from Jason. Says sent you the pin on Facebook message. No, oh, email wouldn't cooperate. Okay, guys. Okay, bye. Right. I told you there were some big, big marks down there. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Look at that fish right there. Look at that crappy. Kid me. That is a stud. Look at that fish. Right in the top of the mouth. You got that different color, just switched it up. I wonder how many times, I wonder how many times we pass by with those other colors. And you just switch it up a little bit, especially if you find the bite starting to slow down and sometimes you get some of those bigger ones. I told you, I told you there were some big markers down there. I told you, I told you. Oh my gosh, dude, that, that's what you're after right there. Let's see, let's measure them up. 14 inches, 14 inches right there. That's a beast. And that wasn't the only one down there, guys. I saw more. 14 inch, beautiful, beautiful looking crappy. Damn God, is that awesome or what? Dude, it's the stash, man. It's the stash bringing them in. I was, I'm looking down there and I'm seeing these marks and I'm like, dang it, there look like some big old round pancakes down there. And you know, we caught a couple. And I was like, yeah, I mean, these are nice, but I was like, I, I swear I'm seeing some, some toads. And there are, they're down there. Just had to, uh, had to finesse them out a little bit. I mean, how many times have we passed over that thing? Maybe like 10 times, 12 times so far? That's awesome. That is a beautiful South Carolina crab right there. We're gonna go ahead and let her go. We'll come back, see if we can get her later and uh, cook her up later. <laughs> there you go, crappy. The stash, the sweat searcher, nailed it. Boom! What are you talking about? Oh, that was pretty. What a pretty fish. All right, I guess we got down there. Dude, if there are those down there, I mean, like, that's not the only one. That is not the only one down there. Maybe even bigger. Bigger. I want to check out this. I want to check out this, uh, this guy right here. Yes, that was fun. I'm sitting here like gabbing. I'm like, guys, there's so many big ones down here. It's like, finally, I actually nailed it. I'm like, take my word for it. I'm seeing big marks. It's like, yeah, catch one. How about you? We did. <gasps> See if there's anything around these pylons. This is, these are a little bit shallower. These are at about nine feet. Um, You've been craving cracky. Vanna, I say you, you want some jigs. You gotta send me some pictures when you get after some crappy with those jigs. No, oh, it's just, I think there might be some fish down here. Oh yeah, there's definitely some markers down here. These pilings right here are about two feet shallower. So I'm definitely seeing something down there. I have not fished these yet. Virgin pilings. I like a good virgin fishing spot. Like I like my oil. Extra virgin. Thanks for the good luck, guys. It's interesting. So I know I just left that, that piling. We'll go back to it where we caught that fish. But the, those fish had moved. They had moved to the head of the piling. Um, they weren't as spread out as I had seen them before. So uh, I don't know. That, that's just really interesting to me. That they're, they're not just sitting still under there. They're definitely, there's a little movement and shaking going on down there for sure.
super shallow on this side. It's like seven feet. I don't like that. We'll fish that side of them, and then we'll head back to where we just got the other one. Of course, you know what? It is spawning season. We shouldn't pass over this. Plus, I feel like I see a little something down there. Seven feet. We're gonna just we're gonna roll over this really quickly. I definitely marked something down there in seven feet. I mean it's pretty shallow, definitely not quite as shallow as I typically fish, but this water, yeah, I mean we're we're on the verge of spawning season. Water's a little warmer back here up in this creek than than the rest of the area, so you never know. It's worth it's worth rolling the jig over. Especially since I saw a little something, something down there. There's a hit. Got him right there. Oh, it's a baby. Ah. Baby crappy. Dude, he smoked it. The little ones are just like, bam. That's a babe. That's probably about a nine-inch. Oh, hold on. They're around these pilings, y'all. Oh, Sean Austin says, love the sweatshirt you're rocking. Thanks, man. Baby crappy. Nothing to write home to get, but... He smoked it good. I, I give him props for that. Maybe about six feet down. He came out and attacked it. We're we're finding. We're uh. We're finding some. Uh, we're finding some active fish. That's for sure. down there and you know if you find a pile of them you have to be persistent like we have i mean it hasn't been jumping off the hook for the amount of fish down there we're definitely, we're definitely not like jumping off the hook uh or jumping on the hook uh, but when you find a pile of them you know if they're a pile of them down there usually you can get a few of them to bite and we're able to, we're doing that right now Wrapping the cord up on a trolling rope with the water motion. Toss this in there. Just between the piling. It's so tight, and there's so many crisscross applesauce ones in there. It's kind of hard to work, but. Yeah, I can't even. Like the piling could just. Seeing something. Something right down here. That's there might, might be a little pile right down here. Let's see. A pile of them right at the end of the pile. Holy cow. I just got like a donation that's in the red. Good grief. Mojo Wish TV donated $100. I just said, holy cow. Okay. Just got done fishing a bass tournament and got completely smoked. Glad that I am about to head home. Oh no, dude. I can pull your stream up and listen to it for a long drive. Nice. Listen, man, stay positive, test negative, and be kind. I admire you on camera. I admire your on-camera talents. Bless up. Well, shoot. 
Mojo's Wish TTV. Dude, first off, thank you for the generosity. Sorry, you got smoked in your tournament. That's no good. I think there was a kayak tournament going on here on Lake Murray today because I saw an unusually large amount of kayakers everywhere. But, um, dude, thank you. Thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate it. Sorry today's stream isn't going to be as long as some of my other ones, but I've got a, quite a lengthy ride back to the um to the dock and i'm gonna break my rod tip excuse me i gotta go grab that rod oh there we go i still need to put him away i've got a quite a lengthy ride back um so i have to uh and, and it's all foggy and i've got to go through some kind of sketchy waters so i cannot tarry you know it's not gonna be a night live we've probably got another 20 30 minutes week maybe not another 20 25 minutes i'd like to smoke one more big one Oh my, that sounded kind of weird. But uh, you know what I'm saying. Smoke one more fatty. That didn't sound any, <laughs> any better. Plug one more big old crappy. But dude, thank you for the donation, man. Uh, Tash says, would you please say hello to your son, Jackson? What's up, Jackson? Thank you, Tash, for the donation. I appreciate it. Hope you and your son are doing well. Doing well. We're gonna see if we can plug one more pancake here at the very least. Like I said, I've got another 20 minutes or so before, because like it's, it's probably a good 20 minute, maybe 25 minute boat ride back for me. It's pretty chilly out here now, so. Vero Videos donates five dollars. Says check the normal chat. Wouldn't let me donate with the trigger words, I guess. Dude, what are you saying? What do you what 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 kind of what kind of messages did you send over there? But thank you, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. You know, guys, I had no. Jerome donates a dollar. Thanks, Jerome. I appreciate it. Thanks to everybody for your guys' generosity. I really do. I appreciate it. Again, gonna be a live stream unless the weather t tells me otherwise. I'll announce it on my Instagram and on my Facebook. Um, but there'll be another live stream um, on Tuesday. It'll probably be like a Tuesday evening, maybe even a night live stream. But it'd be blah, 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 blah. going to be going after some more crappy as well in a new lake. So pretty excited for that. It's been interesting. Like if I get popped and they they miss it, I've done this on two of these fish. If I get boom, then I'll give it a couple pops, and since I picked them both times at least. They've come back for it. All right, let's go back to that piling where we just got the 14 inch. There definitely some fish down there, though. They're just stacked up, y'all. They're stacked up on this bridge. Make no doubt about it. Hold up, what's going on with my. Oh, there we go. Um, I don't want, I don't record videos while I'm live streaming, no. I, uh, I either live stream or I'm doing a video. Tomorrow, I'm just doing a video. Uh, today, I'm live streaming. Actually, this was a very impromptu live stream. I did not, uh, well, I kind of, I brought my live stream and stuff. But, um, like I said, I started marking crappy and I was like, hmm, oh, let's turn on the live stream. Uh, I'd heard, I had seen, again, I'd seen pictures and stuff on like some of the Facebook groups. People were starting to catch some crappy, so I thought, you know what, they're down here. I am a phenomenal fisherman, so I should be able to catch them. <laughs> no, I thought though, I thought the chances were good. And so far, hey, paid off. Back to these pilings again, yo. This is fun. Are you gonna do a catch and cook, Michael? I, not now because it's gonna get too dark too fast. Um, yeah, not not on this one. We will on another live stream. In fact, like I said, on my way into this spot, actually, I noticed some birds swirling and some striper hitting the surface, and it got me, gave me the idea. I was like, you know what? Actually, now that we are catching crappy here, I thought we could, like, striper fish during the day, crappy fish during the evening, like, do one of our epic three, four, five hour long live streams. Excuse me. So, um, you know, we might have to do that. So, 
Oh, got another donation from Jason. Godfrey says, I'm pretty sure I know where you're at. Have you gone any further up that creek? Looks juicy. You know, I haven't. I've seen some other guys go up this way. Um, so, Jason, first of all, thanks again for the donation. Jason, if you know where I'm at, the first set of bridges here had nothing on them. Came back here, uh, was talking with a guy, and he was fishing, um, he was fishing dogs. And he said he'd caught a few, but he said everybody's left. So he said, I'm assuming the fish is not that great. Well, I, being me, said, was not, was not waylaid by such negativity. And I thought, well, I know there's another bridge back up here. We're going to give it a shot. And sure enough, Jason, they're like stacked. And unfortunately, there is a ramp right here, which I could have launched it. I had no idea. Instead, my dingbat self, I'm like a 25 minute boat ride up here. So, mostly because of my John boat with all my gear on it, only goes like 18 miles an hour. If I were in a normal boat, it'd probably be like an eight minute, 10 minute boat ride at the most. If I were in a bass boat, it'd be about a five minute boat ride. Bridget, thank you for the donation. But uh, the old John boat kind of coughs and sputters and has to get going and then you know she hits ramming speed by about mile three so definitely marking more fish here as well let me get this guy back down to I might, I know we just caught that big one on this. I'm going to roll with this just a little bit more and then I might change just one last time. Just try another different color. Again, I feel like, I feel like when you keep going over and over spot, unless the crab you're absolutely jumping on the hook, but they're not really today. I mean, we're definitely getting a decent bite, but I mean, we've been fishing for what? A little over an hour. We've caught what, five? I think. Um, I mean, that's not exactly a massive ratio. Um, I feel like there's crappy when you keep, in my opinion, Keep going around and around. I feel like they're going to see that lure multiple times, and I feel like they're going to just kind of be like me. So I like to switch it up after, like I said, if that bike starts to slow down, switch to a different color. And, you know, we did that. I ended up 14 inch. Might switch it up again, and maybe we could pop one more if we don't get them on this. I don't know what it is about crappy fish in these bridges, but just like, I can do it all day. I, I just don't even get bored, especially when I see the fish down there and we're catching some fish like this. Like, I can, all of a sudden, like, all look up, it's like, whoa, two hours have passed. Like, oh, it's like, dude, you've only caught five fish in two hours. Like, I know, but I'm having so much fun. Oh, I got another donation. From... Come film in Louisiana with your boy. Vero Video says, check me out. Shouted you, your bro, and your ancient out in the first upload. Dude, thank you. In Louisiana, I know my brother's been to Louisiana. Uh, I've got to get down there too. Mostly because you can keep a massive slot redfish. It's like one a day or something. Maybe it's one during the season. I don't know. But that excites me. side of these. I do one more try by this and I'm gonna switch one more color before we have to call it. Call it today. What's up James? What's up? This is exciting. Glad I decided to go live. Oh my goodness, Gear Up Survival's in the house. Say hi, yo, Gear Up. Gear Up, dude, how you been? Hope life is treating you well. Nice to see you in the chat. Hold up, I'm about to run into the bridge again. But nice to see you, Gear Up. Slow roll it back. 
Pull it back through here. Just keeping an eye on the depth finder. You know that last one, that whole two inch, that was two feet off the bottom. That wasn't even suspended. Like they're kind of hugging the mud, it seems like. What's up from Arizona? Just my line literally running over them. They running past them. Right, I'm gonna try to come up here. I wanna experiment a little bit. Especially since we got our kicker fish, that 14 incher. Love it! Here we go, here we go. What do you guys think of this? Little midnight, little midnight action there. It's got a little black in it. Let's get that up. A whirl, if you will. Can't sit on my feet. Let's see. I mean, it looks pretty sexy to me. I'm not gonna lie. If anybody else thinks so. Maybe that little extra bit of a solid color. another donation. I'll read it in just a second. I'll get to the end of this piling. we got to stay focused here. Focus on the body. Another donation from one. He says this makes just hilarious. Thanks, Juan. <laughs> I appreciate it, Juan. Seriously, thank you. We're gonna go around on this side. I'm about ready. You know, I feel like I've gotten so far. I've gotten the most attention with that bright neon. Actually, what I might end up doing is for the last little bit, I've got a little variation of that neon. I might go back to that and just see if we can't uh, coax one or two more out with that.
the water's not like it's not clear but it's it's not like muddy it's just a regular green color a little stained i would say cleaner than a lot of this lake a lot of this lake is just chocolate milk right now well, let me jump on that big Maybe that solid color is what they want. Jeepers. If we could kick a field goal in the night. Oh wait, I don't see this time. I'm trying to be like very subtle with my movements because you guys are on a tripod on my uh, cooler. And the last time I did that, you almost went in the water. So, I've got to be careful. Mistakes were made. Let's drift midnight. Well, there's a bite. Hold up. Midnight just got hit. Come on. Come on, big mama. Just sitting there and just got a tap. It's not a great opportunity. I'm not even going to eat you. I just want to show you to 287 people. Like it's not even that bad. More passes midnight. Then we'll switch up the color. Rock and roll. The stash, dude. The stash ain't doing no such of a thing. 
keep those blasphemous words to yourself. Anything to stash is codfish today. Kind of rude to my subscribers, huh? don't want to grow your channel fast, do you? When in doubt, blame your subscribers. Last pass with the midnight here. I don't have a lot of confidence in the color. It's 44 to 45 cans. Did I say somebody say somebody one of the Kansas players broke their leg? That's not good, right before March Madness. That's typically not ideal. Who was it? I mean, it's never usually good to break your leg. You know, there's never an ideal time to do something like that. But. Come on, you fantastic fish here. You basketball. You are not cultured in sports if you think basketball is gross. Basketball is one of the most beautiful games when played right. Which the NBA doesn't really play it right, but college. Mm. There's nothing sexier in all of sports. All of sports. And I am a massive football fan. But there is nothing sexier in all of sports than a beautiful pass that ends in points. Nothing. It's poetry in motion. When you get when you get like a behind the back and not just in pass, I'm talking like like a no look pass, um, a no look pass behind the back pass, you know something that's just like oh, and then you know whoa, splash three at the end, big dog, mm, mama. There's nothing better, man. There's nothing better. Guys, I don't have any confidence in this midnight color. Somebody tell me who broke their leg. I need to know. Who's breaking legs on the Kansas team here? We're not we're not very deep anyway this year. I don't think Kansas repeats. I think I thought they were pretty decently, but um But now I gotta know. Who broke the leg? Unless somebody was just, uh, uh, or somebody was just pulling my leg. Ooh, a buzzer beater? Yeah. Jump on the midnight color. Hold up. I got it on, we out here. Johnny, I got it on. What are you talking about? Oh, they're down there. Oh, they're down there, man. Thick, right here. And they're not jumping on the midnight color. Food on them. They just don't know. They just don't know a good thing when they see it. Actually, you know, I'll be honest with you. 
I got a fan at the midnight call you. All right, we're switching. We're switching because we got like 10, 15 minutes left. Then I got to go. Got to go. No time. No time. All right, first we had that sartreuse color on right, and we, we plugged like three or four on that. This is like a milky sartreuse, so it's just a little bit different. But it's still got a little pop of color there. Look at that. Mm. Get some right there. Come on. Come on. This thing, I, I got good, see, I'm getting good vibes from this jig right here. This jig is just emitting positivity. Like, if this, I would put a mustache on that jig right there. That looks like he's gonna, that looks like he's gonna hammer, drop the hammer. All right, guys. We're gonna have a few passes on each of these. Call it good. I'm getting hungry. My tummy just rumbled too. I'm like, Ugh. I haven't eaten anything. Well, what time is it? I haven't eaten anything like six hours. So I gotta go load up, drive 30 minutes home. All good things, all good things. But man, we caught some crappy today. Boom. We gotta come back. Because I there are striper out here. I guarantee you there's striper. I saw. Oh, striper fish, crappy, like crappy fish in the morning. Striper fish, yeah, maybe come back, crappy fish to eat. I'm like an eight hour live stream. I will never go to the bathroom. I'm just gonna like, never mind. <laughs> uh, anyway. Here we go. Ooh, yeah, they're down. Come on. Come on. All right, guys. Watch this. This color's about to put in some work right here. I don't know. Come on, color. Come on, baby. There they are. Do your stuff. Maybe we don't got this. No, don't give up tape yet. Oh, big pile. Oh, what's the get You know what we should do? I've been working like really close to the pillars. I should work off the pillars a little bit. Just see if there's some like and we kind of go in the same area. Back up maybe about four or five feet. A little stank on the jig would go a long way. See ya, Michael. Michael! Um, probably, actually. I should get some stuff for it. It's a great idea. Oh, oh, oh. A little stank on the jig. <laughs> that was weird. Sorry, it's been a long day. It's gonna be a long day tomorrow filming. Sometimes I just don't know what's happening. Mistakes were made, okay? Hmm. 
you getting dizzy yet? Not yet. Try slightly higher depth. Do the keys. Keys are such a worthless fur, dude. Noisy. Poop all over everything. Shed feathers everywhere. They're mean little cusses, too. Like, a bunch of dang bats, just a bunch of bullies. I tell you, don't ever let geese bully you either, though. Don't ever let them. Don't start hissing. When a goose hisses at me, I can't you not. I hiss back. I get up in his face, too. Oh, chasing me around. See those videos, people get chased around by geese. I'm like, what, what are you doing? Like, well, you wouldn't survive anything, would you? Let alone the zombie apocalypse. Like, you can't even survive a goose. So... have a bird coming at me, acting all bad. We're running this jail a little shallow now. eyes on the stack, you know? Okay, well maybe these fish just don't know a good thing. Try our other filler. I'm, I'm not giving up on this guy. I'm not giving up on him yet. This is this is where they're at right here. These are the ones that want to eat it. I am the one, the one, the one. Come on, baby. to dance. What do we got here? I don't even know what's going on in the chat right now. It's outrageous. It's outrageous.
Maybe the mic is just straight shutting off. I don't know. It's doing on the mic of what I have presented to them. Chili on you guys. Oh, can I just pop one more here? Is it possible? Losing light here, y'all. We losing the light. Dude, I don't got no steak, yo. It sounded really weird to say. Here's some steak. I got no steak. the bikes just slower down and into the evening time maybe the crap you're just we're going to bed maybe we caught them all so just hit the surface right oh oh that's a striper right there oh yeah he's chasing chasing Phew. get it bud i swear every once in a while i feel like i feel that jig like literally like rolling over the fish I don't get bit, but something like bumps it. If that makes sense. At least we got our 14 inches. Like we caught one of our slabs. Maybe a daytime bite. Maybe more, especially like this cloud cover and stuff. Maybe I'd be better off coming out here, getting out here in the day. I thought even actually, I thought it'd start heating up to be down right with you, but it's like it's like slowing down. It feels like it. with the umbrella rig. Yeah, we need to do that. Yes. Good call. Good call. I like it. Cool. Oh, that's good. Because I've got about probably 40 minutes of good life. Oh man, guys, it's been real. I'm glad we did a little live. Caught some fish. I think there are more to be had, though. More to be had. Maybe get here earlier.
to stay away from the bridge for the immediate. You know, I had all the confidence in the world in this color. She's got to let me down. She's got a chance to redeem herself, though. But her time's running out here. like two big old round pancakes right out here. Look this side and head out. One last pass by. Actually, I want to pass by that middle one. It's my last pass by. Pass by the one where I saw the most fish. <sighs> well, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today.
probably got to be like glowing jeans or something. I don't know. Still just stacked up under the tent. Still just stacked. Well, guys, it wasn't me, it was the Jeep. <laughs> no, still though, we got some solid fish today. I'm pretty happy with how that went, especially for kind of last minute, no warning, whatever, throwing it down. <laughs> Dude, don't tell me when I should and shouldn't end the stream. This is my live stream. When, like I said, it has my name on the tail. Oh, good, that was the best. Anyway, guys, thank you. To everybody who donated today, I really appreciate it. Um, thanks to the support and the generosity. Again, looking to live stream some more crappy fishing next Tuesday, different lake, weather permitting. Um, but as you can see, I, it's kind of hard to tell here, but it's starting to get dark. It'll probably be dark in about 30 minutes, would be my guess. Like, pretty much full time, full on dark, if you will. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me a little bit on your Saturday, spending a little of your weekend with me. Glad we were able to plug some fish. That was fun. And uh, I think we got to come back and hit some of these striper out right here in the main part of the lake. And then uh, come back here and keep getting after some crappy. I'm definitely like already scheming in my mind um, when we can do that. Let Have a good, nice, calm day like we had today. And um, we'll be able to get out here and do this again for sure. So anyway, but look for a live stream. I got to go out and film tomorrow a regular video for the channel. So uh, hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend. Have a great rest of the Saturday. Stay safe. And um, I guess I'll just see you in the next one. Let me see if I can sign out. Let's see if Stash Mike can sign out. My fingers.